Hello everyone, hope you're well. It's uh, Mark, hi, how are you? It's been a few days since I've um, been online and since then Snooper have updated to version 0.24. So um, you may have seen my post in the user group that I was struggling. First time ever I couldn't get the um, update to work from the phone wirelessly. Um, thank you Paul Glenn for sending over the link so I didn't have to mess around and I updated it fairly quickly actually um wish i'd done it after about the second or third attempt and not after about the eighth attempt and uh, get it all up and working on version 0.24 so changes wise i'm pretty happy at the moment uh here on the app i still use the uh, the audio wow one thing i have noticed is of course um you used to be able to select vmate audio iphone audio or bluetooth audio if you now have the phone open, you can only select the iPhone or the Bluetooth. Hence why I'm talking to you now, not testing the microphone, because I want to see the uh, the phone as a viewer to explain it, this situation. I've got some footage that I shot immediately after update um, outside with just the VMate. You'll see it's blurry as anything because it didn't find me in the focus, where obviously I would have used the screen having this connected in the bracket I'd have used the screen to see myself obviously on the small screen with the vmate yeah okay um, couldn't really tell what was going on with my eyesight um, but obviously I was testing the audio so yeah audio much better so well done you know snooper you've got the audio better uh, obviously focus is still an issue because I'm trying to vlog on myself and it wouldn't even auto focus on me and it's not like i've not got a tiny head i've got a big egg shaped head and it couldn't find me for the whole minute and 40 seconds that i recorded and i'll show you some of that now hello 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 so uh been out for a walk this morning but uh extremely cold where i was so uh didn't want to do a test up on top of the moors here in the uk but uh i am here now with just the vmate in my hand on version 0.24 that I had to set up manually. Um, first time I've had that experience, but it was fairly easy. So thank you, Paul, for messaging me on the user group to say, yeah, just uh, here's the link. Appreciate the link, it saved me loads of time. So this is just a test to see the new microphones while I'm uh, walking just outside my house. I'm hoping I'm in focus, because the one thing I've not been able to do is set any form of um, manual focus by uh, using the screen um, which you would do in the app and I've noticed in the app there was no option to use the VMAX microphone it's either it was just going straight to the iPhones so obviously if you're out and about and just want to point and shoot then this is the way to do it but it would be nice to still have the phone in the bracket for a viewer and still be use the uh, the mics but uh, really I think this is going to be useful for webcam um, I've tested the webcam, I've tested the drive, and it all seems to be working. So if the mics are working as well, then um, the update that they said they've done has worked well. Just hope I've stayed in focus throughout this little video. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. So based on that alone, audio test-wise, great. Um, it's such a shame that they've changed it in the app. So it's either VMate only, um, using the mics only which I get, I, I suppose, if you just take that out and it's in your pocket, you want to do a, a quick film and record, you're going to get much better sound. Obviously, if you want to use the uh, app, they're forcing you to uh, use either the iPhone's mics or an external mic, which again, is probably better from a filming point of view. Um, and I will always have this mic on. I like this. This is the Audio Wow that I've had a while now and it works a treat in this process because this is Bluetooth and obviously the phone to the VMate is wireless. So yeah, test-wise, audio better, well done. Um, on the update to 0.24, what else did they do? They have made it a webcam, does work as a webcam. I've not been able to, again, control it in the app. The app will not connect when it's hardwired into a PC. Um, I will be trying it on my new iPad later. I haven't even unboxed the iPad yet. I just got it yesterday, so uh, we'll try that with one of the new iPad Airs. But it works on a PC, it's great, as long as you put it up. Because you can't manually then use the gimbal, um, 
for me, I use uh, an Acaso version of a GoPro as my webcam, and obviously I can just put that where I want, dead easy. It's only that big. Don't need to mess around with brackets or anything. So I'll probably stick with that, but the Snooper does work as a webcam. Again, settings-wise, it seems a bit fiddly. You have to go into the menus. You can't. I've not been able to use the app to go into the menus. It's all on screen on the little two-inch screen, which is tiny, to switch it then to disk mode or charge-only mode off USB. Um, if there was a way to use the app and switch those modes and control the webcam, as it were, use this as a remote control, that would be phenomenal. But... It's working, guys. The update they said they're going to do is working. So, quick overview on point two four of the updates. I'm on iOS. This is my old iPhone 7. I actually do have a new iPhone 12 as well that came with the iPad. So, I'll be testing on those later on. But uh, first videos are okay. Now, I'm on board. I just wished that my audio test outside would have found focus. But take care. Cheers, guys.